Welcome to Beaded Doilies by Shell. In this video, we are continuing the video word chart tutorial for the right angle weave. We are on row four, and I am using my pattern bell for this tutorial. Here is the, our piece as of the end of the last video. We have row one, two, and three. Now for row four, we are beginning with the one step increase. And you know you are doing the one step when your string is coming out towards the end of your previous row. With the one step, you will add four beads, which we need four A color beads. and we'll let them drop down. Now when you add four beads with the right angle weave, you wanna find the first bead that you added and go through it again. And then you wanna pull your work tight. And there is the first four beads of your row. Now we're going to turn our work over and our string is coming out of the top bead of our current row, just like here. So the C stands for the current row. We're going to add two strings, two strings, sorry, two beads, and we need two C color beads. And we'll let them drop down to be next to our beads. Now when you add two beads you need to go through two beads and we want to go through the side bead on our previous row and the top bead which our string is currently coming out of so we go through the side bead of the previous row hold on gotta make sure you're going through the correct side bead here's our top bead so I actually want this side bead the one right next to it and we went through the top bead also and there we have our four beads. Now to position, we want to go through the two beads we just added plus the side bead for the next set. So we go through one, oops, two, and then the side bead that's just above where we are. Turn it so it matches. There's our string coming out the side bead. And now P stands for our string is coming out of the side bead of the previous row, which is what it is doing. We're going to add the next two beads, which are both B color. And we'll let them drop down. Be next to our piece. And as usual, when we add two beads. We want to go through two beads, so this time we're going to go through the top bead of our <coughs> current row and then the side bead that our string is coming out of. So we go through the top bead of our current row 
and then the side bead that our string is coming out of. And there we have our two beads added. And to position, we just go through that first bead, which is the new top bead of our current row. And we're in position for the next set. And now our string is coming out of the top bead of our current row. And we need a C and a B. Let our beads come down to rest next to our other beads and then we go through the side bead and then the top bead and then we'll position our beads <clears throat> go through both beads we just added and then the side bead and we're now ready to add our next set of beads <coughs> and our string is coming out of the bead on our previous row, so P. Now here, five and six use the same two colors, and because they're the same um, colors, the direction of the string isn't going to matter as much, so you, I don't need to specify which side the string is coming out of, so that's why five and six just have two Bs. So you'll do both of these sets. Now at this point, I also want to help you know how to figure out where you are if you stop in the middle of a row and come back. Um, each of these is sets of beads that you add and what you do is you count your side beads of the row you're working on. Make sure not to count the end bead, just the side. So you go one, two, three, four. You know you have added the first four sets. So now you're ready to add five and six. Both five and six um, our B colors, so here our string is coming out of the previous row. We're going to add our two beads. Let them drop down. And then we'll go through the top bead and the side bead our string is coming out of. And there we've added our two beads. And then to position for the next set, we will go through the top bead, which is the first one we added. And now we are ready for the next set. And our string is coming out of the current row. We're going to add two B colors. Let them drop down. And then we'll go this time through the side bead and then the top bead that our string is coming out of. And we 
we've added our two beads and now we'll position um, but as we have no more side beads we know that we have come to the last set so we only go through the first two beads so that's one and two and now we are in position to add our last set. And here we are increasing and our string is coming towards the previous row. So the T means that our string should be coming towards or on the same side as our previous row. We're going to add three beads. We need two C colors, followed by a B color, and we'll let them drop down. And then as we added three beads, we will go through the bead that our string is coming out of making sure that our string is coming out on the same side. And then we will pull our work tight. And now to position our string for the next row, we need to go through all three beads we just added. And now we are in position to begin our next row, and we will do that in our next video. Hope to see you there.